like I said, burpees, muscle ups, box jumps, sprinting, things like that, right? Double under the jump rope. Your body's gonna need a quick energy store in order to produce that quick explosive movement. Uh -huh. Line them up, line them up, knock them down. Yeah. Yeah. They said it was a grind. They said it takes time, yeah, I know. I guess they weren't lying. Every time I try to climb, they cut the rope. I fell straight to the bottom, got problems, I don't really wanna talk about them, no. I've been down this road too many times to be afraid, I close my eyes when I walk down it. What's going on, YouTube? You're back with the Prez, out here in Juniper Park today. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the do's and don'ts of cardio. How to do a cardio effectively to hit your goals. And remember, everyone's goal when doing cardio is to burn fat. The last thing somebody wants to do when doing cardio is burn the muscle they've been working hard to achieve, right? So the benefits of cardio, not only besides having heart health benefits, it's also, again, it's gonna help you burn calories. And in order to start losing weight and burning fat in general, you have to be in a calorie deficit. Remember that, that means you have to take in less calories than you burn throughout the day. You have to be in a calorie deficit. I spoke to you guys about this many times in the past. Now remember, the goal of cardio should always be burn fat, right? You wanna burn through the excess fat on your body in order to have your body looking leaner, more muscular, right? The last thing you wanna do, like I said, is burn through muscle. Now remember, cardio, there's many types of ways of doing cardio, right? Basically, all you're gonna be doing is elevating your heart rate to a state where either you can work through it, which is considered low intensity, steady state cardio, or a state where you're almost in an anaerobic state where it's hard to take in oxygen to the muscle, right? Exercise such as high intensity interval training, things like that. Let's, let's talk about sprinting, burpees, exercise of that nature where people are trying to go balls to the wall in order to burn calories, right? That may not be the most effective way if your goal is ultimately fat loss and to retain as much muscle as possible. Remember, I said there's such things as low intensity, steady state cardio, known as LIST, and then there's high intensity cardio or high intensity interval training where you're ele elevating the heart rate a little bit more. Yes, you're gonna burn more calories doing that type of exercise, but again, are you gonna be predominantly burning fat or what will you be burning through when you're focusing on more of those high intensity cardio sessions? So let's talk about low intensity, steady state cardio. Let's talk about the energy systems that the body runs through. Remember, we have the phosphagen system where you're burning through ATP and creatine. That's gonna be the immediate energy store. When you're doing quick bursts of movements, box jumps, snatches, muscle ups, exercise that lasts anywhere between like zero and about 15 to 20 seconds, right? You're gonna be burning through ATP and creatine stores. Then you tap more into anaerobic glycolysis. That's when you need to start using glycogen and glucose to power you through your sets. Anything lasting between 20 up to 90 seconds, maybe even two minute long sets if you've built up that capacity of work, right? Now, once you start doing exercises that can last longer than two minutes and you can continuously rep out, that means you're now working more in an aerobic state. Aerobic means you can get oxygen to the muscles. Now, remember guys, there's only three types of pathways that your body runs off of energy. You have the ATP and the creatine stores, which are just burning through stored phosphagens in the muscles, right? You're not really burning through glycogen or body fat when utilizing those energy systems. Now when you tap into anaerobic glycolysis, that's when your body's predominantly burning through carbs. Now think about it guys, if your body needs quick energy, what's it gonna result to first? Carbohydrates, what's it gonna need quick energy for? High intensity work, things like burpees, things like sprinting, things like multiple sets of box, multiple reps of high intensity jumping, box jumps, things like that, right? Your body's gonna wanna burn through the immediate available stores of energy, which is gonna result in being burned glycogen and glucose from the muscles in the liver, right? Now that's not gonna be predominantly fat burning if your goal is fat loss, right? You can still be burning calories, you can still lose weight, but you may not be burning fat. Like I said, you're probably predominantly gonna be burning through your glycogen and your glucose stores in the muscle and the liver. Now, how do you get effective fat burning when doing cardio? That's when you wanna focus more on low intensity, steady state cardio. More aerobic capacity work where you could take in oxygen, elevate the heart rate, where you could still typically hold the conversation, but you're not gasping for air trying to do so, right? So think about steady state jogging. I've always talked about incline treadmill walking at a decent incline at about a two, three mile per hour pace, right? Something that you can do for a long period of time consistently without fatiguing too fast, right? That's when you're gonna be tapping into more fat burning stores. Remember, fats are nine calories per gram, carbs and protein are four, uh, four calories per gram. It's gonna be a lot easier to burn through a carbohydrate store when your body needs it than it will be for your body to tap into fat stores. 
So exercises that are longer doing, that exercise that you can do longer, like I said, jogging, steady state walking, incline walking, slow jump rope, things like that, that's gonna tap into more the aerobic system and it's gonna help you oxidize more fat as opposed to burning through glycogen and glucose. So I hope this didn't get a little too over your guys' heads. Remember, energy systems, your body wants to burn through quick energy for quick pet, for quick pace movements, right? Think, like I said, burpees, muscle-ups, box jumps, sprinting, things like that, right? Double unders with the jump rope. Your body's gonna need a quick energy store in order to produce that quick explosive movement. It's not gonna be able to break down the fat in the body in order to power you through those exercises. And that's another reason why people on a ketogenic diet may not perform as well when it comes to doing repetitions in like the 30 to 90 second range, right? They may burn out faster because they don't have those carbohydrate stores available in their body to do that prolonged anaerobic type exercise. Fat may help you prolong, again, if you're on a higher fat diet, sure, you may have better aerobic capacity. You may be able to burn, you may be able to be more efficient at running longer distances and doing the low intensity steady state exercise and burning more fat that way. But if you're mixing up your calories like you should be and having a mixture of carbs, protein, and fats, if your goal is fat loss with cardio, keep it more low intensity, steady state as opposed to the high intensity work. Because remember guys, you wanna burn through the fat stores, it's gonna to have to be longer aerobic type, ex type exercises where your body can sustain it, right? It could break down those long fat chains. Remember, like I said, nine calories versus four calories. It's a lot easier to get to the carb stores than it, e than it is for your body to break down the fat. So if you guys wanna be oxidizing fat doing your cardio sessions, focus on more low intensity, steady state movements, and you're gonna see the fat melt off and you're gonna preserve as much muscle mass as possible. I hope this video gave you guys a little insight of what you're doing wrong with cardio and trying to preserve as much muscle mass as possible. Like always guys, like the video, it helps the algorithms out. Share it with your friends and family. And like always guys, if you have a question, leave it in the comment section. I'll always get back to you. Peace out. Bar Naturals. They all love to talk, you know they do that shit the most. Think you on my level, boy, but you ain't even close.